For the purposes of uh, this demonstration, we have quite a few incidents that, that we've got on the map. All different types of incidents, whether they be chemical, biological, radiological, nuclear. Um, what we're going to look at is the CBRN messages database view and the different types of view that we can have within that database. Uh, first thing we can actually do is if we want to know how many incidents we actually have within our AOR that we've recorded and marked down and have templates for, then we can go to this icon here. And this will take us to the CBRN2 view, as it's known, um, on the shortcut. So we can click onto that. However, it doesn't actually say CBRN2 when we look at the folders, when we look at uh, where this is situated. So this has taken us into CBRN messages, uh, view by number. And you can see that we have the CBRN1, CBRN3, CBRN4, 5, 6, the MET or weather information, and the rest of the reports. Then underneath each of these grey folders would be the various different messages that are associated with CBRN1s like so. But the CBRN2 is called Incidents Folder, and that indicates the incidents that uh, we have on our map at the moment. And you can see that we have a multiple amount of incidents. As with any of the databases um, and various functions that we have within CBRN Analysis, we can adjust in between each columns to make them smaller, make them bigger, um, so that we can see each line and all the information that's relevant on each line. We can also um, look at it if we click here by type. So we got nuclear, bio, 4KM and RAD. But normally uh, most operators have it clicked by date time group. So this will indicate when the first incident happened up until the latest incident that we have inside the system. So our first incident was at 0600 hours and our last incident was at 0930 as we have it at the moment. So that's uh, how we can view by number. We can also view CBR messages by type, and this is probably the most common way that uh, operators do view the information that's relevant to the messages or reports inside the system. So in this case, uh, case we can see that we've got uh, nuclear, biochem, rad, weather folders, and a plus sign to the left of each one of them. So if we click to the left of nuclear, we can see all those reports. 1 to 6, and bio 1 to 6, chem 1 to 6. Uh, radiological 1 to 6, and the met or weather information, whether it be BWR, EDR, or CDR, and then the rest of the reports. And from this view, most people would click on um, to whichever folder they need to go to to have a look at a relevant report and maybe to edit that report or maybe to generate a briefing material which we can um, discuss in another tutorial. Whichever um, function we wish to carry out, we can do that from here. We can also, if in this case I go to the CBRN2 chemical, and I select, let's say, this um, report here, I don't actually have to double-click or right-click to, to open up or have a look at functions. I can just highlight it. Then down at the bottom, I can reposition how this um, particular area looks at the bottom by uh, moving it up. And then I can see the message information down here. And then if I want to, I can highlight what I think is the relevant information. I can then right click and copy and then paste it into another application such as PowerPoint or Word or whatever I want to use it for. So any report I can do that with, it doesn't matter. I can just bring the information in and then I can highlight whatever elements I want to highlight. Um, for whatever purpose. So, 
Inside the CBRM messages database, as I've indicated, we can readjust these um, areas here to make them bigger, to make them smaller, whatever we want to do. The other view that we can do is by alpha. So if we click by alpha, here we can see how many uh, messages relate to each incident. And they're um, selected here by the counter. So you can see as far as nuclear is concerned, we've got four reports that are associated with that. So if we click on and highlight that one, here we've got two CBRN ones by these two units, a CBRN two that's been approved by us, the operator, and we've got a CBRN three. If we go to the blister instance that we have here, in this case, we've started off with CBRN two. We've got a CBRN three. Then if I move this up, got a CBRN4, and inside the CBRN4 we have a whole series of readings from a recce that's allowed a survey that's given us an actual contamination area, which is the CBRN5. So for each one of the incidents, we can see how many reports are associated with that particular incident and maybe what we might have to do for that incident as far as our procedures are concerned. Do we need to do fours? Do we need to make a five? We can see where we are in that process by going to alpha. Please be aware as an operator, if you keep alpha selected, then the shortcut bar that will take you to the uh, main reports inside CBR analysis will be blanked out. Um, you can only see this shortcut bar if you select uh, by number or by type. Okay. So just be aware of that. If you select by alpha, this bar will not be accessible and you won't be able to use it. So once you've finished inside, having a look at um, the view by alpha, then either select by number or, like I said, most operators select by type. So just select by type. So there is an introduction and give you an idea of how you can look at various messages inside the CBRN messages database.